and welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. I'm your host, Mikey. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use the Cricut 15-inch loom by Shack. There's also a 10-inch uh, tabletop loom as well, and this is actually really fun and simple, and you'll be very surprised at how quick it takes in order to make up a scarf. So let's go over some of the basics first. So now let's apply the brakes, and the brakes are actually right here. Okay, so it's just coming down. And so basically you're just gonna put it on top, and so now you'll hear a clicking. So now this uh, apparatus will not be able to go in one direction, and you can hear it clicking here. And we wanna actually start doing that. And we want this apron string to be about, about two inches away from the back here, just like that. And so we wanna activate this brake over here. Okay. We're not going to need that right away, and we just want to do it so it's about maybe four inches, four to five inches out from this direction. And so now let's grab our yarn. And then, I just want to use this wool yarn that I'm using, and I just want to drop it right in front. And you notice I dropped it, and it was coming from the middle of the yarn ball, so it's not from the outside. Doesn't really matter too much. Uh, I always like to work closest to me first. You can take this out for a second uh, for your first one. And you just want to grab an, the apron bar right here and just tie a knot. And we're, we're going to cut this off after the end of this product. So if you're working with a uh, full length, you're going to want to start from the end of the bar, working all the way across. But if you're just doing a little scarf like I am, I'm just going to put it partially in the middle. I kind of try to want to balance my scarf so it's in the middle so that it, everything stays equal. I'm now going to grab my heddle, and I'm just going to place it in. Did you notice it didn't matter on how I did it? Just put it in. And this is the tool that you're going to get, and this here goes in between the heddle, just like so, and it also goes in between a little slot that is in the middle, if I actually was looking at it from the right angle. So it can, it's actually very versatile. This tool is your best friend. It's a little bit of a, a taking getting used to, but once you get the hang of it, you're going to be good to go. So now what I want to do is that I want to reach in, okay, through just the actual upper slot only. I don't want to worry about any of the middle slots, those little holes, okay. I just want to start off with just the slot first. And so what I just do is that I kind of just rotate it around like this, okay, so just around, and I pull through, and then I just kind of use this tool here, okay, and pull. I forgot to mention this when I started this particular tutorial, but if you have any uh, knots that are in this whole thing, you cannot use it. So make sure that the strings have no knots all the way from one side or to the other, because what happens is it gets stuck in this thing and then you'll eventually break your strings and you'll hate your project because it's not possible to do. So make sure it's all one solid strings going in this direction. So I'm continuing to pull and now I can take it off the tool and just use my fingers and I can pull just like that. And I want to wrap it around the actual warping peg. So this is the secret over here. You want to come back and you just kind of want to tug on it a little bit and you want to look at this apron bar. So in order to get it around the apron bar, I'm going to have to make sure that I go over it this time. Okay, so I want to go over. So when I go to the next slot that's right beside it, I want to grab it from the other side so it goes over the, the bar and then back through the slot, just like so. And now, now that I've grabbed it, I can just use my hand and pull. So now this time, it's underneath the bar. So all I'm just going to do is reach in through the tool and grab it from the upper side, just like so, and pull it through. So I have found that when you're doing this kind of idea, if you can get at least four of these slots in a row, you can actually get a really good striping effect, just like you see on all of the projects. So I'm going to go one more and then we're going to do a color change just because we can. So the next one is going to be, it's on top, so I want to grab it from underneath like so and then grab with my hands and let's release this tool down and pull okay and so now I want to finish off this color so I'm just going to use my fancy dancy scissors snip it and then I want to tie this around the apron bar by itself So now I'm going to use some um, Super Saver, and this is a variegated. You'll be very surprised in how pleased you will be when you're going in this direction, this whole length, when you're using variegated. So I'm going to pull it from the center again, I'm going to let it drop, and I'm going to tie the first part to the apron bar again. 
Loading up your loom, uh, depending on the, the how many that you want to go across, will take you on average from 20 minutes to 45 depending on your project. Once you tied it, you're just going to grab your fancy dancy tool. It doesn't matter for how you're grabbing it because the knot is going to be from the same angle. So I'm just going to go to the next one here and I'm just going to grab it, pull down. and I'm just going to pull that. It's kind of stiff coming out because it's brand new yarn. But you can see as it transitions across here, it's changing colors as it goes. So you actually end up with a really amazing effects when you look at the whole thing. So now you're on top of the bar. And so now basically you want to come up underneath and pull it from underneath the bar so that it wraps around. And the heckle just fell off, no big deal. Just put it back on top. And again, we want to pull. And I'm going to do it to four of those at the same time. So I just finished my Red Heart uh, Variegated. I'm going to use some Red Heart Shimmer. And this is going to give it a little bit of a shine toward the center of the scarf. And again, we just want to tie it on. And I'm going to do, you know, it, it's actually a guessing game on what you want. Um, that's one thing I love about this project is that you can do the same colors and just different amounts of slots and it will totally make your project look really kind of different. So again, just back and forth and you will get into the rhythm of this pretty quickly. And uh, I know myself, like the first time I ever did this, it was about an hour to do this. Uh, but once you understand that this tool is your best friend, <laughs> you'll be laughing all the way as you go throughout this project. So now when I'm looking here, I'm getting near to this. So what I want to do now is that the next one I want to do is that I want to make sure that I kind of come up on the other side of that instead. You want to make sure that these apron strings are pretty well balanced uh, throughout your project here as well. So I'm just going to come up when I go to do the next one. So I'm coming up and around the other side of it, coming in here. Feels like so. And so that's how you'll be able to get beyond those apron strings as you're going around. So now you can just kind of continue to work onto your project. Now for the remainder of the loading, I'm just going to repeat exactly what I did. So I have four slots of the variegated and then four slots of the burgundy here. And I'm going to do that. And next time we meet up, I'm going to show you what we're going to do next in order to continue to load up this project. So this is it. This will finish off your lesson for today. You can move on to the next lesson. The choices will be on the screen. And you know what? You can just propel yourself. It doesn't take much time to do one of these projects, so you might be able to do this whole video series today as you're following along on my tutorial. Until next time, I'm Mikey from The Crochet Crowd.